On behalf of the 81st Training Wing, welcome to our 2017 Honorary Commander Induction Ceremony. I'm Captain Victoria Bobo and I will be your narrator for our ceremony. The 81st Training Wing instituted the Honorary Commander Program in 2003 for civic and corporate leaders to gain insight into the base by working and building relationships with Air Force and base personnel. The program, in turn, builds community relations across the Gulf Coast and Keesler Air Force Base. It's now my privilege to introduce the 81st Training Wing Commander, Colonel Michelle Edmondson. So thank you for all of you that have been with us over the last year and many of you before that. Thanks for everything that you did to take care of our airmen. So this is really about building strong bonds with our community. In my 24 years now, I've never been a part of a community that supports an installation as much as this community supports Keesler and our airmen. And with that, General Labruda, I'll invite you down to give opening remarks. But the Honorary Commander Program is about us learning as much about how we can communicate, how we, our relationship, how we can build this partnership better. You've got a lot of experience and knowledge that we can glean, and then we can incorporate that and put it in the way that we do business on a day-to-day. -day. That's what this is about. It's a relationship. So thanks to all of you, to this great community, for all of you saying send me. Thank you to your family members that said, I want to be a part of this. Before we begin the induction of our new honorary commanders, we'd like to officially unveil our new honorary commander emeritus program. The Emeritus Program has been established to ensure that honorary commanders who have been instrumental to the success of this program have an avenue to continue their involvement in base activities and events. I've been an honorary commander since 2008, and it's been five years since I've been the uh, Keesler AETC rep, and it has absolutely been one of the most rewarding experiences of my life. And uh, I am really, really honored uh, to be the first emeritus. Before we begin the induction of our new commanders, we would like to introduce all current commanders and honorary commanders. To kick off this evening's induction ceremony, we will begin with our new 2nd Air Force honorary commanders. We will now begin the induction ceremony portion of tonight's program for our new 81st Training Wing Honorary Commanders. We will call upon both the commander and their new honorary commander. The Honorary Commander program, it's really about forming better relationships with the local community and the installation. Um, and when I got here, we had about 10, and last year we had a big press to increase the size. We went to about 24, and the program was so successful in 2016 that we thought, let's do it even better this year. But I think what's so important is that we get the right people involved, people in the community that, one, will find time, which is hard for all of us, but people that are really interested in improving the life of a military member in the community, getting to know what it is we do on this installation, and then and inviting their military members into the community so that our military members understand what this community is all about. Keesler has done a great deal for our community and I being in the school system have had the opportunity to work with many children and many military families so it's an honor for me to be an honorary commander and to get to be on base and get to know and do some things at Kisa, which I normally would not have an opportunity.